Okay, so we're giving a little bit more attention to the string type because there's a little bit more going on here. So when quoting strings, you gotta use double quotes. Uh, at one point, Terraform, I believe, supported single quotes. I think it only supports double quotes now. And honestly, you generally wanna just use double quotes because double quotes always support escape sequences. This is pretty much standard across all programming languages. Um, but the idea here is you can do things like new line, uh, carriage return, tab, literal quotes, literal backslashes, Unicode characters, both uh, basic multilingual plane and supplementary planes. Um, there are some special escape sequences. This makes sense when we look at the next slide for uh, string templates, uh, but there's these things where you can do interpolation. And so you might not want to actually do them. You might want to um, uh, do it without. And so if you just use double of the symbol, that will allow you to do it. Um, then there is also the ability to have multi-line strings and we use here doc for that. And so here doc is a little bit different in all languages, but here we're using Unix style. So that means that we're gonna start with these two angled brackets to the left, uh, or opening angle brackets, followed by some word that is all in uppercase. It doesn't have to be EOT. It could be whatever you want. Uh, I always like to type here doc, and then it has to end uh, at the same indentation level with the same uh, word all uppercase. And then everything in between will be treated as, um, as multi-line. The nice thing about this is that when you have this, you can actually just use double quotes wherever you want because you don't have to escape them, okay? Let's take a look at string templates because this is the real power of strings. So the first is string interpolation, and this allows you to evaluate an expression between the markers. So the idea is instead of having to do double quotations and do plus signs to stitch together uh, strings, what you do is just do a dollar sign uh, curly braces and then put the, the expression or variable that you want uh, to be uh, uh, converted, okay? Then you have string directives and these are slightly different. This allows you to evaluate an expression uh, for a conditional logic between the markers. So uh, let's say we want to have an if else statement. So if the name is blank, um, then use var name, or sorry, if it's not blank, then use the name provided. Otherwise, put it as unnamed, okay? You can also use interpolation directives with here docs. So, you know, just to show that you can do it. Um, and then the last one thing here is you can uh, stri uh, strip out white space that would normally be left by directives blocks by providing a trailing tilde. Um, so just notice this little tilde here on the end because these do take up space. So if you were to view it, there'd just be an empty space there. If you want that space to vanish, then you just put that tilde on the end. So there you go.